They were where BMW started. It's a great motor. It was just right the first time. They built it in the 60s and ran that engine till 1984. From 65 to 84, they must have had something right. For this engine rebuild, we checked main bearing clearances, and then we used the Lucas assembly lube, installed the crankshaft, file fitted the rings, mounted the pistons to the rods, installed the piston in the bore, and just torqued it down. We increased the compression ratio from eight to one to 10 to one. Stock horsepower at the wheels would usually be about 80 horsepower. After the side drafts and the engine build, we, we should be making about 140. As far as how you're gonna feel, anybody could get in it and say, wow. <laughs> On the brakes, we used a Willwood caliper. We use a two-piece rotor, drill, plate the rotor, cross drill, slot. From there, we have the sway bars on the car. The coilovers we did in-house using Econi strut inserts in the front, shock absorbers in the rear. In the end, we have an adjustable ride height setup that's still comfortable for driving around town. We kept rubber motor mounts, rubber drivetrain mounts to keep the vibration from the engine down, but we went ahead and made it a lot more firm so that they're going to be able to feel the road, but they're not going to get the vibration that comes from a race car. Well, the car was in paint. We had the motor built. We had uh, all the parts together sourced, got them assembled. So a lot of work went into the prep, getting the actual engine mounted on the subframe and prep to go in so it went in nice and smooth. Today we married the motor and the chassis, so it's now a car again. So with the current time frame for finishing the project, it's gonna be pretty tight. There's gonna be a lot of early mornings and late nights, and we're gonna work right up until the end to get it, uh, hopefully get it done. Doing a build that normally takes about 18 months, compressed into five, is gonna give us uh, Give us some fun towards the end, which we're getting to right now. What we have left to do on the car now is all the hard stuff. It takes lots of time. All the little stuff that takes a car from a 90% car to a 100% car. The 10% takes the most time and it's, it's the most difficult. We weren't kidding about being pressed for time, so we do gotta get back to work and I will see you guys later.